Page 16, wooden shoe dance. The key word there is dance. For four time, one flat in the key signature, we are in the key of F major. Let's cover it one hand at a time, make sure we have the fingering and the rhythm and the notes okay. Starting here in the right hand, remember there is a, a B flat in the key signature. So it's one and two and three and four and one and two, crossover. Rest and fourth finger and two. And I'm connecting everything right now except for the rest, and then during the rest, come up. Two, three, and four, and fourth finger, because we need fifth finger for the E. One and two. Rest. Now, I suggest at the end of the second line. Here, rather than second, use third finger and end on, end on two because we're going to use thumb here and I don't like using the same finger like that if I don't have to. Then in the third line, it, thumb, rest, come down, reach down, it's an octave. It's an F and a D. Okay, and then go on, rest, two again. And then a four, three, four. That's one and two and three and four. Left hand, broken chords mainly. And block chords, five, seven, one. Rest and come down. How you finger this is up to you, depending on the size. You can do that if you have to. You can do this if you have to. Leave that up to you and to figure out the fingering there. Otherwise, the fingering in the book is fine. Second line, second measure, B flat now. And then back up here. Let's put the hands together. See what happens just slowly. See right there, they come together. One and two and rest. through and put the hands together. And once you can do that, go back and get rid of the hesitation so it is a steady beat. Articulation, connect it. Then staccato, short staccatos, hinge at the wrist. Connect. Second line, staccato accent. Give a little extra oomph on that. Not a lot. Just a little extra. Third line down, again, legato and then staccato. Last line, staccato accent. This is in both hands now, a good accent. the articulation. Dynamics goes to the right hand. Keep the left hand in the background. Whatever you think moderately loud is. And you're staying pretty much there for the first two lines. After you get to know the piece, if you feel like a little getting a little louder and softer, that's fine, but stay in that area. And then the third line, you're soft. The left hand has to be very soft here. Last line, you're going to go from soft to loud. So the first measure is soft, moderately soft, moderately loud, now loud, and stay loud for the rest of it. Yeah, in the right hand. As far as the speed goes, well, somewhere in the middle. It is a dance. People are going to move to this, so keep it steady. Well, you need to do that anyway, but be sure and do that. 
Now there's a note at the bottom, right hand one octave higher on repeat, because there's a repeat sign to play it again. So we've done this before in this book. Then during the rest, the right hand comes out. Left hand stays where it is, just come up, in the right hand. Rest. Now this will be a challenge too, because we want to hear the right hand, and when you go up, it's going to be a little softer. This, this is the way the piano is. So you have to make the left hand even softer. It, Whatever that is, that's what we want to hear. So, and the second time, then you're playing the right hand all up there. you very slowly to double check all the notes and rhythms. I'm not going to do any dynamics. We will do it twice so the right hand can go up an octave. I'll give us four counts. One, two, ready, go. Rest. Repeat. Rest. Thank <laughs> you. 